what is up people how's it going back again with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can use md time picker using python's kiwi and kiwi md okay guys let me show the demo so if i click this open time picker button here we can find a beautiful time picker dialog okay now let me check for a time let's say 3 pm okay if i click this ok button here we got this time okay so guys now i'm i'm going to do this project from scratch so guys let's get started okay so here i got a blank python file so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to import the base app okay so from kvmd.app import md app okay after that from kv.lang import builder okay i'm going to load my layout.kv file using this builder module okay after that from kv.uix.float layout import float layout okay and finally i'm going to import the time picker okay so from kv.uix.picker sorry guys my bad uh, i'm going to import this from kvmd package so from kvmd dot uix dot pickers import md time picker okay now i'm going to create two class so first class is going to be let's say demo time picker and i'm going to inherit this from float layout class okay now let me pass this class because i want to i don't want to add any kind of function right now i will add i will add later okay now i'm going to create the main class okay this class is going to inherit from our base app okay that means this md app class so md app and in this main class i'm going to add a build function okay so this function is going to build all kinds of widgets and functions okay so here i want to load our layout.kv file using this builder module okay so for that i'm going to call the layout.kv file okay and then i want to return my demo time picker class and last but not least i'm going to run my main class using this run method okay so i'm going to set the ui okay so i'm going to add a button and uh, i'm after that i want to add a level so whenever the user is going to press the button a beautiful uh, time picker dialog should be pop up and uh, a user should be select time okay and the time will be printed out on the level so for that let me call this class in my layout.kb file in a angular bracket or something like that now here i want to add a button let's say md raised button and this button let's let me set a text the text will be let's say open time picker after that i want to set the position okay so for setting this position let me set it as the center of the screen so i am using center x at 0.5 and then i want to set the center of y axis to point six okay i hope you got the idea now um, i want to set a level okay let me call the md level widget and here i want to set a id 
mm, let's say selected time okay and then i want to set the text um, this is a demo text so for that time here okay or whatever you want now let me set the or uh, i want to set the position so let me align it to the center okay mm, now let me check if everything is okay or not okay let me run this here we got a button and a level okay so if i press this button nothing happens because i didn't add any kind of function here okay so i want to add functions for selecting the time and popping up the time picker window or dialog so for that i want to call this and time picker okay i want to set a function let's say open time picker and let me pass the self argument after that i want to create a variable call time dialog okay and this dialog will be this class or this variable so you guys my that okay this time dialog variable will be this md time picker class or this widget now i i just copied it and pasted it here okay now i want to access this time dialog variable and i want to call the bind method because i want to bind two function whenever the user is going to press the ok button that means on save self dot save but i didn't create the save function or on save function i need to create it now on cancel self dot on cancel okay now i need to create these two function so for that first of all i want to create this on save class oh no, sorry guys my bad on save function let me pass the self argument and i want to pass the instance okay i want to pass an instance and the value okay now self dot id is dot that means uh, whenever the user is going to click the ok button then the level this level should be converted to the time that the user selected okay that the user has selected so for that i want to access this id so let me copy this and it will be from self dot id dot selected time dot text equal value and this value is in integer form but in case of level i need to convert it to and to a string okay and now i want to set the on cancel function okay so whenever the user is going to press the on cancel button this function is going to be called okay let me pass the instance plus uh, let me pass an instance and the value keyword uh, self dot ids dot selected time dot text will be let's say cancelled or whatever you want okay now i need to bind this function 
in my button okay so empty rise button so whenever the user is going to release this button open time picker open time picker should be called okay this function should be called but uh, one thing to mention i didn't set the function to be opened okay so sorry guys my bad time dialog dot open okay now i want to run my main.py file okay let me run this so let me recap here i created a function uh, here i called a function let uh, this is uh, the function is open time picker whenever the user is going to press this button this function is going to be called and this function is binded with this two function okay so i hope you got the idea now if i press this button um here i got an error let me copy this and paste it here okay and let me read on this oh sorry it's my bad here it will be root dot i need to pass the root argument okay so root dot open time picker that means this class is the root this class is the root and this class is a flower of this tree okay i hope you got the idea now let me run this okay here we got a beautiful time picker dialog okay so this is a built-in dialog uh, kvs uh, kvmd score developer developed it now if i click for a time whatever you want pm if i press this ok button here we go here we get this time okay here we got the time so uh, i hope you got the idea how to use md time picker using python's kv and kvmd okay so guys that's for today's video I hope that makes sense. Keep watching. Goodbye.